All right, to Rue, episode two, coming for y'all, and welcome back to the weird, wacky world of Inscription. Now, where we last left off, if this is gonna pick, I should pick up right where we left off. We just entered the new realm, the swamp biome, I think, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Okay, so I also want to preface real quick, uh, the reason I'm playing this cool, really cool card game slash escape room game is because it was a heavy inspiration for my latest series called Chapter 1, The Game. It is pretty cool, pretty cool series, kind of a choose your own adventure thing on here on YouTube. So, it is the video that it should be to before this one because this is episode 2 of Inscription, so please do me a favor and check that out and let me know what you think. Put a lot of hard work into it and I think it, it, I think it turned out really good and I really think that you would enjoy it, you especially. Yeah, I'm talking to you if you just went down and clicked that link. So go ahead and check that out and uh, I'll be here waiting for you when you get back. So anyways, those of you who have already seen it and thoroughly enjoyed it 110% and have left me a comment about what you thought and what I could improve upon, let's get into the game, back into e Inscription. All right, I don't know what this is, so I think I'm gonna choose this path. This is another totem battle, campfire, another mystery card. But I think I'm gonna go here. I'm already at three items, so I'm gonna head here and then get an upgrade for one of my characters here. Let's see what we got. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but the cost that you wish to pay. One, two, or three. Okay, well that's interesting. I'm thinking I need more, I, personally I want to say more ones, actually. Oh! The omnipresent maul. It burrows and emerges to block any land-born attacker. Okay. That's kind of interesting. A random card with the cost of one. What were you expecting? Well, I don't mind that mole card. It actually looked... Oh, that's the only choice I get. Okay. Well, I... Yeah. Hey, that's fine by me. Defense card. It's not the best, but... Okay, I want to make a more powerful card, so we're gonna go here. Let's see what we got here. Now, this power would be cool to imbue. The only problem I have with this power is that... Because when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil would move to that space to receive the strike instead. The only problem is... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's let's go ahead and see what I have options to put this on. Um, let's put that on the river snapper. Yeah. I think that'll be nice because the river snapper is a tank, so it, it can really take that. Alright, let's go to another battle. Alright, what we got? Okay, we got the child 13 that I wanted to try out. Um, you know, let's go ahead and just see what happens when I sacrifice it. Mate, what does he got? He's got a B? Card bring this city. What? There's a spider there. Why is there a spider there? Go away. Card bring this city will strike. I thought it came back. I want it directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. Okay. Okay. Um, wait, what is this? Wait, 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 wait. You can't just show me that and... You can't play that presently, but you're squirrel. No, no, what is what is with this? This looks like the dial. Can I pull that off? Okay, well anyways, we're gonna play the squirrel. Um, and you have stupid bees. So this child doesn't have any attack. We're gonna put it behind the stump. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the bullfrog here. See, I knew something happened when you were sacrificed. I knew something had to. That's interesting. I'm curious what's going to happen next with that. Alright, so that should be good. That should be some decent damage here. Alright, and you are some airborne defense, so let's go ahead and grab another squirrel card. We can go ahead and do this, and bloop, bloop. Oh, so it goes back to sleep. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Hey, get your hand out of there. Alright, that's really interesting. So you can sacrifice it, but only so much. How oh, brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Who the frick is the trapper? <laughs> 
Uh, but that was good. Okay, I really like that card there. That's going to be an interesting card. I didn't think that was going to be GG, but um, all right, let's see what we got here. The industrious beaver. When played, it constructs dams adjacent to it. That is really cool. Wait. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a dam is created on empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power two health. That's cool. The only problem I have with that is it's not going to attack, which means it's mainly defense. So that's that's really just a defensive card when I got nothing else. Uh, the adder and... Uh, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. So that means it's not going to take any hits. Mm. I'm going to do the beaver. I like that idea, being able to build up some defenses. Okay, and the campfire. All right. Let's see what we got this time. A group of starving survivors stood around a can't die campfire. There is a room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Mm, okay, well that's interesting. No way, okay. I would like you with more health, but considering you've already been improved, he said hmm last time. This time he says no way. I really don't want to lose him. You know, let's see what happens. I'm going to try it on the river snapper. Oh. Oh. The health of the river snapper was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. I should have done the stoat then. I could have increased the stoat's health. That's okay though, because he is a tank and he's going to take the damage. That's what I need. And now he's he's even a, an even bigger tank. So, and I got him. All right, this is going to be a good good card. Okay, what do you got coming up? A kingfisher. Huh? A card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. So I can't, I can't attack them. How do I attack them then? Okay, I'm just a coyote. Okay, well let's get this squirrel down, I suppose. Um, let's get the child thirteen down, and let's go ahead and get. Yeah, let's get you airborne. You're going to start doing damage, and then I can hit the sparrow over here. That might attack. They're both going to attack, but I'm curious on what... I don't know what those kingfishers are going to do. See, because they go underwater. Okay. Okay. This may not have been... I, I shouldn't have grabbed the squirrel card. That was kind of stupid of me. Ah, yeah, okay. And then I just nullified him stupidly. Okay, but that's okay. He should, yep, he should kill him. I'm curious, will he... Hmm. That's some dickatry going on. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Silent, or I will tear you to shreds. Okay, we need to just deal some massive damage at this point. So, uh, let's go ahead and go with that. I don't know how to deal with these water... I really don't know how to deal with that because if they go under, I have no attack against that. But this should be one, two, three, four, five, six damage, which should which should be decent. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Now they're only gonna deal me three damage, and I'm gonna deal six the next turn, so that should be that should be plenty. Um, I can just grab a squirrel, doesn't matter. GG. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I don't know how to counter that though. I'm kind of confused because I don't know how to counter the, the underwater creatures. If they stay underwater, how am I supposed to attack them? Can, okay, can a waterborne creature attack another waterborne creature? That's my question. But I don't have an adder. I'm going to get that because it's an insta kill. All right, let's see what we got here. I. I don't. Uh, I'm going to do a, a power enhancement. I don't think the. I think the campfire is eventually going to kill one of my creatures, and I don't like taking that risk. Um, ooh, okay, let's get the poison maybe, and let's put that on, I could do, I could do block air. Yeah, yeah, I'm almost thinking I'm going to want to do that, block air, instead of the poison, because I can put the poison on one of them, but the, I mean, I could put the poison on something cheaper. I'm going to put this on the wolf though, so the wolf will block air attacks, which I think would be good. Okay, a bear trap? Do I even want to step on this damn thing? 
you were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance when you were quickly distracted by his wares. Okay. Care to look at my belts? Um, take a belt, free of charge. See the quality. Okay. You're leaving all right. I didn't mean to leave. Please consider me pelts. I thought I was grabbing that pelt. Um, I mean, it's a golden pelt. Is that good? I guess I'll take this golden pelt. I don't know what that's going to do for me. The thanks for your business. Yeah, okay. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Oh, okay. Okay, so it was good that I bought the gold one then, because a trader would reward me for them, I think. I'm afraid that one of these one of these times it's not gonna end well for me though. I do want to kind of get the stoat up to health though. Yes. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat when you were stoked. Hey, I just made the ultimate stoat nader right there. My stoat is now freaking hugely powerful. Uh-oh, in a boss battle. My boss battles are high-stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Why would I want the smoke? Oh, the smoke. It's okay. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go. Oh, you prick. I am the angler. Go fish. I'm the angler. Go fish. I'm the angler. Go fish. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out voice for this guy. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? We got my powerful stoat looking wonderful. Okay, the smoke. Is this just cannon fodder? Is that what this is? Because that's what it looks like. What do you got coming in? A kingfish. Great. The thing I don't know how to freaking fight. Um, let's get a squirrel down. Can I sacrifice the smoke? I can. Okay, so it works like a squirrel. Um, let's go ahead and get you down. Total misplay. Why is that a total misplay? Let's get the, uh, let's get you on the board too, I guess. I don't know if I should have sacrificed the smoke or not, but that's a good start. I don't know how to fight that. Which fish? Ah, oh, Jews. Oh! Well, please don't take that. Okay, well, let's see if I can get the adder down, maybe. Fisher fish. Easy choose. Ah, wait a minute. So does he choose, does he pick the, the, the one he placed down first? Or la latest? Hey, get wrecked, son. Um. Oh, come on. Not this freaking crap again. Too soon. Too fast. Ugh. Come on, game. You're gonna screw me like that? Alright, well, they're not gonna get me without a fight. So let's go ahead and do this. A rabbit pelt. How freaking wonderful. Okay, so... How many ticks do I need? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I'd only have four if I were to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and cut. My stoat will actually surprisingly survive, but it won't survive forever. 
It'll survive a hit. All right, I can cut one of these cards. I think if I can cut, if I had a better power card, I could easily do this. But let's get, let's go ahead and get the adder down, because that will instantly kill that. Well, let's go ahead and take this grizzly. They're gonna. The, this grizzly is gonna kill this sparrow, and that grizzly is not gonna kill my stoat because it's been buffed, thankfully. So I'm gonna try and protect my heaviest hitter right now, which is the stoat. So let's go ahead and take this. Take that. And unfortunately, yeah, let's lay the rabbit pelt down as well. Okay. Ugh. Damn. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and play this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and lay the black goat down. And I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice the black goat. Oh shoot, they did, mm, I was just gonna say I could make them all fly with a fan and I would get over the top of them. But that's not gonna work because they, 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 they stopped flying as well. Shoot. Damn, I thought for sure that was gonna work. Yeah, that's not gonna do me anything. Damn it! Okay. Damn it! That's BS. You turd. You absolutely cheated that. Go fish. You freaking turd. That sucks. You dickhead. Well, there they go. Dragging me out of the cabin. This is that one room that looked like the, the flashing light was coming from before, so. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. Oh, how nice, how nice. Thank you for that. I'm so happy. It's so wonderful I can be put on a death card after you cheated me, you dickhead. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, the help costs zero, so I guess we'll go with that, because these both cost two, so... A cost of three from the golden pelt. That's right. I like things that are free. And another. This time we'll use the power and health. The numbers. Eh, well, the wolf and the wolf are the same, so I guess we'll go with the three and the two. Three power and two health from the wolf. Yep. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Well, I like the undying. I mean, this one... What, what can I... I'll scroll through. Wait, what? When a card bearing the sigil is played, a copy of... Why are you telling me this now that I can just scroll through this? And you couldn't tell me that before? Wait a minute, what the hell is going on with these pages? Oh, this even tells you about the... Dang, wait, it's, it's uncovered now. It's uncovered now. 273, this must be the code to the safe. But why was that covered up before? Okay, anyways, I don't see the point in doing this one because it... Why do I have the rule book over here? Here's the rule book in your cell. Okay, but I'm under the undying. I like the undying the best. A sigil of many lives from the child 13. I like that. I never did ask your name. Okay, well, I am Spellcaster. Not Spellcaster. Pro no. Wait, can I actually? Holy crap, how much room do I have? Oh, that's the max. Okay, we'll just go Spellcaster. All right, a free undying card. I'm happy with that. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Okay. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be, I guess, because... Uh, you do not need to smile. That's okay, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna smile for you, anyways.
Hope you like this face, because it's gonna be haunting you, big man, for the rest of the days. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Wait, am I gonna start all the way at the beginning? Or am I gonna start back at the wetlands? Perhaps you can understand bones. Yeah, I want to understand. I got some right here. I'm pretty sure you do too. I don't know, your hand looks alien, so maybe not, but... The resourceful possum costs two bones. I see that. I see that. Two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Okay. That's all you're going to give me? Hey, at least I got the stoke back. I wish he was still as powerful as he was before. Wait, I have a... Why do I have that already? Okay, um, well, I'm going to have to do a squirrel. So I guess when a creature dies, I get... I get bones. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. Okay, that makes sense. That's kind of cool. You will not lose this until it is spent... Or the banking ends. So it's not like a blood point sacrifice. You get to keep those. Okay. But I only have one bone, so I can't really do anything else. All right. Hit him, Stoat. A Rattler. Ooh. Three damage. I don't like that at all. Okay. Um. Well, shiznits. Wait, I can grab... Okay, let's grab a squirrel card, and let's get the... The wolf down. And he should be able to kill you. And actually, I have two bones now, so I should be able to play you as well. Look at that. Strategy at its finest. Okay, uh, looks so this looks like the last card in my deck, so I don't have the same cards either. So this I should be winning this one anyways, though. Yeah. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah. So we're all the way back at the beginning. Oh. What? 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 Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Okay. Okay. It's beside the safe. Kill. Yeah, I've seen those figurines. The hand again. Wait a minute, but I saw in the... Wait, the book's over here now. There was the code. Yeah, the code 273 that I saw from the book. So we can go over here. I'm going to guess... Two, seven, three. <laughs> Ooh, a card? Achievement. In Inakius Insect. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape. That iron crypt is put. What? Is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. Okay, sure, sure. And there's the key. I'm assuming, wait, is this, so this must be the, wait, this is different too, hang on. So this is the game board, squirrel and a raven. Why is that different this time around though? All right, well, I'm assuming this key is for this. Yep, yep. Let's get in here. Let's do it. Ooh, okay. So this is, Oh, so I can move these. So this is this is the game board. So what do I got to deal five damage? Hey, look at that. The skink. Those are kind of cool. I forgot that I can put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Yeah, what power did, what, wait, I can't look at the power? What power did I have? Um, okay, so this should be the same, then. I gotta make sure that we deal... What, wait, what does that power do? I wanna go look at the book and see what that power does. Uh, Corpse Eater... That, that's it, lose tail. When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and the card bearing this sigil moves to the right. What? So, like a defense mechanism. So it's, it's just moved... Okay, okay. So now, um, I can't move you back. I can't move you at all. Oh, I see. It's got bars across. Okay. Um, how do you... F oh. 
Okay, because, okay, so when this one gets striked, it's going to move to the left, right? No, it's going to move to the, it's going to move here because this damage is being blocked. Oh, wait, 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 okay, so I shouldn't hit him. Okay, let's try this then. There we go. Because because if he moves to the left, I shouldn't hit him because he's going to create a copy of himself. Okay, what do we got? Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. How nice. Ooh, and I unlocked a whole other freaking row of this? Okay, what do these ants do? I need to go figure out what the ants do. Ants. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So they, they so this this should be doing but that's only gonna transfer to that. Okay. There. I'm not exactly sure how I did that one. The Cage Wolf. Wait, the other card was talking about that. I'm curious. That's that's all, that's it. That's all you gotta say about that. Okay. Um. These ones. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. Sharp quills. Once a card bearing this signal is struck, the striker is then dealt a single point of damage. Okay. That's not. I did not think that. Okay. So now this card isn't gonna do anything. Now, I'd want to move this card up, but that's going to hit... Wait a second. How about that? Yes! Okay, okay, okay. The hell is this? Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Okay, but it's a squirrel. <laughs> that's all I know. Does that, does that coincide with this squirrel somehow? Wait, this is your skull from before. Oh wait, I got the teeth out of it. That's the skull that was used on the bosses. Extinguish that, I guess. I still don't know what that does, but it's collecting the smoke. Do I gotta play this like three times to get the third one activated? Because this candle was lit now, and now this candle's lit, so maybe this candle will light next time? All right, I, I need to grab my wooden figurine. I've been freaking dilly-dallying this whole time. I wonder if like, Am I supposed to match this on the table? Because, like, th this looks like the playing table with the raven and the squirrel. Okay, I need the figurine. I need the figurine. Oh, this is me this time. How nice. All right. Let us continue. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. All right, let us continue to the first button. All right, what do we got? The meager coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? Four bones? That's kind of expensive. <laughs> the nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. Okay. The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. I think the cockroach actually sounds like a really cool card. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your own hand. That I think would be really helpful, especially if we're running out of cards. I'm gonna go with the cockroach. Okay. You know you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. Well, I could do that, but I don't see a need. Oh. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Well, that's a little bit too late. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh well. Alright, well let's go ahead and move on to the map. Or the, the knapsack. I want to try the boulder though. I think that might be nice. Let's go ahead and try the black goat maybe. Let's see how this works. Stink bug. Hey, you again, indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep. We are in deep this time. 
Okay, that's interesting. So this is a stink bug, eh? I freaking hate stink bugs. I get so many of them in my room for... The, I live next to my bathroom. Obviously, my bathroom's right down the hall. But we get stink bugs that crawl out of the freaking drain. And nothing makes me more angry than to see a stink bug. I freaking hate stink bugs so much. Okay, anyways, besides the point. So the stink bug costs bones, which is interesting. Um, I want to get my stoat down. Because I like my stoat. So let's get my stoat on the board. Uh, let's grab another... Uh... I'm gonna need a squirrel because I can't actually sacrifice the stoat. Shoot, I can't even wait. Can I? Can I? You are lacking the bones. I know, but I could sacrifice the squirrel to get the bones. That's kind of annoying. Okay, well, I'm gonna take another two hits. That's not good. Okay, well, let's go ahead and place you and let's get the wolf on the board. And I should have enough bones to get the stink butt on the board. Back in the game. Okay, cool. 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 Alright. Um, I think I'm... I don't think he's gonna play anything more. I see the way this is going. I concede. Really? You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. You know, I'm gonna... F you're offering me a feather. I kinda wanna see what this feather does. But I also kind of want to kick your ass because you were a, a dick to me. So you know what? Take that, prick. And let's get some extra, get some extra damage in there. Yeah, that's right. Chew on that, a coyote, a cat, and hey, me. That's weird. <laughs> but I am free and unkillable, so I'm going to take myself. Thank you, me. You're welcome, me. Um, unkillable. Now that would be interesting. Having something return to my hand consistently. Marvelous, I'll go. Um, most likely something cheap. How about free? <laughs> How about an unkillable me? I am immortal. Let's do this, let's do this. I am, I am immortal. I am forever sacrificable. And I never leave my own hand. That's just the best. I love that. I am I am the perfect card. <laughs> all right, you're gonna do the wolf. Oh wait, so you're inscribing all your wolves to go underwater. Great. I still don't know how to how to counter that. So that's freaking wonderful. If who? Excuse me. What does this do? Creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. How oh, freaking nice. Okay, let's put you here. Oh no. That's a big hit. And you both go underwater, so I can't even do anything? Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to use my boulder. Let's get this boulder here. Because maybe... Because they don't fly. They don't fly. So that's that's still okay. Okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. So I get one attack with that. Um, and I can actually play the possum, too. Let's do that. Let's hold the board up. Oof, those coyotes. They hitting hard. Oh wait, so I get bones even when they kill my character. That's gonna... Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that just because I need to brace for the hit that I'm gonna have to take. Because they're gonna they're gonna hit me hard here. I would... Well, four, but... Yeah, okay. So I need, I need one of these cards. The stoat. I like the stoat, but you don't do much damage. <laughs> Okay, um, well, let's go ahead and put you down. Keep me alive. I'm working on it. It ain't gonna be easy. Oh, for heaven's sake. I forgot they go under. I can't even kill them. Oh, no. How do I count? How do I counter the water, guys? Oh, disappointing. Yeah, I don't know how to counter the, the water, guys. All right, what is this? You encounter in a small outpost in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trainer that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you are mollified by her offerings. Okay. Do you mind if I examine those pants of yours? Um, sure, why not? 
Let's start with your hair pelt. Here's what I can offer. Whoa! I can trade you any of these. Take your time. You have a lot of options. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, what is the Rat King? When a card bearing the Citadel dies, four bones are rewarded instead of one. Very weak, though. The Mantis might be good. Um, I could get the Undying Cat just for power-up purposes, so that's a good card to get. I guess the Wolf Cub wouldn't be a bad option. Yeah, let's try the Wolf Cub. I didn't try that one before. Ooh, Wolf Pelts, too. Exquisite. Oh, jeez. These are like modded cards. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as... But this goes underwater, so it's never going to be hit. That doesn't help. A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Okay. Well, we could try that. The raven might turn in... The raven egg might turn into the raven. And that picture had a raven and a squirrel. So I'm going to go with that. These pelts are the most excellent. My thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Go away now. Shoo, shoo, goodbye. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Again. Puzzle Prospector, yeehaw! Yeah, okay, we get it. Move on. Okay, um, but a, but a caged wolf. I actually have the caged wolf. Okay, so I gotta hit the pack meal again because that gave me cards last time. Now I gotta remember that my cards are gonna get turned to gold, so I gotta play this wisely here. Um, let's go ahead and get the wolf cub down. That should take care of that coyote, and that's about all I can do for that turn. Ooh, okay, that hurt. Let's grab another... Does the ant queen... The ant queen doesn't attack, does it? Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Let's get this squirrel down. Let's get this squirrel down. Let's see. I, this might be stupid, but I'm gonna try and finish off. Power in numbers, the ants creed. Okay, I'm gonna try and finish off the mule because that'll give me more cards. I'm gonna go ahead and block one of these hits. So that way I can only take five. That should just reset me to, to, to normal. So that should be okay. Good, 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 good. Ooh. Dang, nabby, my mule again. Yeah, no one cares. Yeah, that's just gonna reset me, which is okay. Okay, so now, do I have enough bones to play you? I do, no way. All right, all right. That's not bad at all. These are all gonna get turned to gold real quick. So, I I'm thinking this might be the final hit here. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Yep, here we go again. At least I get bones out of them, but still. Yeah, 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 okay. Let's grab a card from here then, a wolf. Ah, shoot, but I can't sacrifice two things. Or I could play my black goat. I could play the black goat, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and put the wolf down, which should kill that wolf. Good, 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 good. Okay, no, that's actually really good because that clears up some space for me. All right, um, can I draw me? No, oh, the raven. I need a sacrifice for you. You. Oh, okay. Hey, look at that. Victory. Victory is a shit. <laughs> Goodbye, prospector. Let me relight your candles. Thank you. Thank you for that. How nice of you. Very well. You may choose a rare card. Okay, let's see what you got for me this time. I have no words for this freak of nature. What What even is that? <laughs> yeah, I don't have any words for it either. The strange larva, the Ureyuli. I'm gonna try the long elk. I don't know what it does. Let's just figure it out. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Let me see. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls, though you beheld the wetlands. 
All right, I do want to check one thing real quick and see if that caged wolf changed any. No, it didn't. Well, I didn't. Ooh, wait, I can get more of these. Okay, interesting. It didn't change any. I wonder. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try and brute force this. Brute, brute force this real quick. Because thinking about this, this is actually possible to do. Because I don't. This should actually be possible to brute force. Oh. <gasps> oh. Does it fit? That was not what I was expecting. So I guess that was it. So I got a ring, but what does that do me? And there's still this down here. I was expecting that to open, not this to open. All right, well, unfortunately, that is all the time I have for this episode. We made some progress. We fought the Angler, I think his name was, and then we got immortalized into a very, very good card. I might add, I make for a great card. Just saying. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been episode two of Inscription. And just as a reminder, go ahead and check out that quality video chapter one of the game if you have not it is the video two videos before this one i will leave a link to it in the description down below it's a really cool and unique thing and i think you would enjoy it if you checked it out even if you don't get the secret ending what's your r3 by the way there are three endings if you don't get the secret ending even a nice ending it's just kind of a cool thing so please please do yourself a favor go ahead and check that out and enjoy it enjoy it. it's free and you know what you don't have to pay anything for it and it's free and it's fun and it's a good time so anyways Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to continue to see this, I will. I do want to continue playing this game and get a bit further, because obviously, with the reset, I'm kind of right back at where I left off. But I have uncovered a lot of the secrets in the cabin this episode, so a lot of progress has been made. But I do want to continue on and beat that boss, because he cheated me out of the victory there. So, if you guys do want to see the next episode, please like, comment, and subscribe, because the next episode will be coming your way very shortly. And I will see all y'all in the next video.